Good morning guys. Today we are working on a project today. We got to move our turkeys out of their little turkey shelter because they're getting bigger and we got to build a bigger turkey shelter. First we need to move out our meat chickens. Also our two breeder Cooney Cooney pigs. Let's go. These Cornish crosses are six weeks old. Now that they're getting a little bit more bigger, I could put them around within the netting. I don't know if it's because of the heat and they're not eating as much, but they seem like they're very slow growing and they should be a lot bigger than this. Zeke, good morning, Zeke, good morning. You're getting moved today, Zeke. We're gonna move the pigs from there in this spot for about a couple weeks and then now we're gonna move them to this spot. Here she comes, here she comes. You just getting up, Elvira? Let's let the chicken nuggets out. Plus one goose. But just because you open the door does not mean they'll go through it. All the animals, not just chickens, they'll spend most of their days during the day in the shade trying to be cool. No drama, no drama. No drama, pity, pity. No drama this morning. Okay. <laughs> Put my hand on this too. Look at that, no drama. Come on, Zeke. Come on, Zeke. There's some food right there. No drama morning. That's what I like. All right guys, we have another build project. We have seven turkeys and we need to make a new shelter for them. I just came back from the hardware store, picked up some two by fours and then went right to work and whenever I'm building some kind of structure for a bird, for a chicken, turkey, I like to rip the two by fours right down the middle. This will maximize our material. And it doesn't necessarily have to be bomb proof with full two by fours. I wasn't too sure exactly what I'm gonna build. I knew it, it needed to have some perches for them, plus shade. This structure also needed to be movable. This is our pig shelter shade that I've used, and I'm kinda of using the same concept on this, but, you know, making it for turkeys. A third hand helps, which these clamps are super helpful for that. I'm just seeing what this angle is gonna be. This is gonna be uh, the perch, I'm thinking. It's gonna be like bars going across here. I'm um, just trying to figure out uh, the angle on this. good time to have a second person here holding this part right here but you know you have to improvise sometimes you gotta have your screws ready you gotta have your, your screws gun ready Okay, it's getting there guys. It, it looks kind of wacky, 
but I'm, I'm kind of I'm seeing the vision now I'm seeing it I had to put some braces that go diagonal here that kind of would sway on me sometimes these builds seem like an art project to me I have a deadline that I'm gonna get graded on you know like a final papers do actually I went to school for industrial design so we would do a lot of this stuff of actually like making a product and building it Almost done with this build. I'm gonna use this shade cloth. I've had this shade cloth for a couple of years. I just never used it, it's brand new. I'm gonna use this for the turkeys instead of the corrugated plastic. I could use this plastic stuff and it would probably be a little bit easier. In case we get like really heavy winds, using the hard plastic as a roof might flip this thing over. Raising any kind of animal we have here on the farm is that we are all just trying to mimic mother nature how is that animal thriving in the wild this shade cloth is going to mimic a shade of a tree multiple ways to screw on this fabric but what i'm going to do is i have a scrap piece of wood here pilot hole drill i'm going to pretty much just sandwich the fabric between the two boards and then just drill this in and then it should hold pretty good and then will allow me if this gets tore up, I could always switch it out. I think the trick is to keep the fabric tight. When I went hunting last year in Alabama, I've seen big giant turkeys fly up on super tall trees and they're just out in the wild. They are not contained. They don't have a structure to hide under if it rains. Good pairs of scissors helps. I'm a little worried about it fraying. Just lightly go on the edges. Don't do too much, because it'll melt the whole thing. So you just kind of lightly, and it closes up the fabric ends so it won't unravel on you. I'm gonna add this chick lift. This is a wide track. I'll leave the link down below if you guys wanna check this chick lift out. Made in the USA, actually made in Texas. And typically I would put these on my movable chicken coops, but this is a little bit different than what you would use it for, a turkey structure. I do plan on making plans for this so I can offer them to you guys. I do like having the turkeys. They're very low maintenance. Once you get past the, the first few weeks of them being so delicate, they do seem pretty hardy birds. All right, now we gotta move the turkeys. We only have this netting. I don't have another, another netting like this. This is a shock or not net. Let's see if we could guide them back into this shelter and then that way they'll be contained and then we gotta move the netting around in a different spot and then give them this new shelter. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. I thought it'd be a little bit cooler. It's towards the evening, but it's not happening. Penelope's right. moving the turkeys and the goose. Good job, Penelope. All right. Let's let them out now. Put this wheel system down. They were in this spot for about a week. And then, so I imagine they'll be in that spot for another week or two. I made this strap to tow it, but honestly, I don't, I don't even think I'm going to use it. I mean, it's so light. I could just pick it up in the front here and then just move it back or move it forward however I want to. Turkeys are thinking about it.
first night with this turkey shelter and they're in it they're, they got it they got it look at that